Assalamualaikum. This is Lubnal Bhagwani. The online museum that I chose today will be the Museum of Contemporary Art, MOCA. This museum provides a variety of 19th century and 20th century um, artworks. From the online museum, two artworks stood out to me the most, which was um, for F48 and a and B. The F48 um, artwork by John Altoon is a 1967 artwork and it is a watercolor and ink illustration on an illustration board. The A and B artwork is a masterpiece by Bruce Connor. The artwork is a mixed media collage on a board. The two artworks were created in the 20th century. An, anal an analysis of the two artwork provides important information regarding the elements that characterize the artwork. So let's talk about their artists. John Altoon was an American artist born in 1925. The artist was a prominent figure in the Los Angeles art scene and is well known for his different artwork. Some of the exhibition of John Altoon's work have been held in the Museum of Contemporary Art San Diego, among other museums in USA. The influence of the work done by John Altoon came from abstract expressionism movement. He is well known because of his figurative artworks during 1960s. John did the Ocean Park series that showed an area between the Santa Monica Beach and Venice Artnet. The series included 18 paintings and additional works that he did on paper. John Altoon passed away in 1969. Bruce Connor was also a significant artist of the 20th century. The artist was, the artist was born in 1933 and spent his life working with sculpture, drawing, photography, and collage. Connor was also involved in making movies where his emphasis was on short movies during 1950s. As well as, well as no, um, he's well known, Connor formed an association that was joined by some of the pr prominent names in the artistic world artistry. Some of the works by Bruce Connor have been exhibited in some of the museums in the US and other parts of the world. The artwork that contributed to the popularity of the artist was the artwork named Child. Bruce Connor's contribution in the world has been immense. He passed away in 2008. So the cultural significance. I feel the two artworks are culturally significant because of the historic, social, and aesthetic value for past generations. Cultural significance is incorporated in the coloring, fabric, and content in the artworks. The F48 artwork by John Altoon is an artwork that is culturally significant. The artwork influences the society by changing the opinions of the viewers. The artwork preserves the historical record, record that exists at a particular time in the society. There are two individuals in the artwork having no clothing on the upper part of the body. The other figure in the artwork is an animal-like creature holding a flag based on the delivery of the artwork. It is clear that it is an ancient society in American history. The historical record of, American, of the American society is preserved in this artwork. The A and B artwork by Bruce Connor is culturally significant as it provides a historical record of a time in history when manual labor was a norm in the society. The dressing by a woman in the art piece in, is an indication of a time in history when spiritual value was significant. By viewing the art piece, it is possible to trace the content to a specific time in history. So the line. Line is one of the elements 
in art that are used to define a specific artwork. The F48 artwork is characterized by continuous lines. Continuous lines is in the artwork have been drawn in a manner that is expressive. The lines are also energetic as they are done in a perfect way. As a result, it is possible to define the different figures that arise from the use of lines. The expressive nature of the lines indicated in how the lines have been used to bring out figures that are not messy. From the use of lines in this artwork, meaning is found in the, um, in the direction and character, adopt, and character adopted. In the A and B artwork, a combination of parallel and contour lines have been used. In the use of parallel lines, the texture, volume, and shading has been used in an effective manner. Bruce Connor uses contour lines to define the outline of the shapes in the artwork. Different width lines have been used to ensure there are changes in width. With the use of lines in A and B artwork, emotions are brought out. So a color is a significant element in artworks that is present when light strikes an artwork and is reflected. In the two artworks, color has been brought out as a significant element that brings out the meaning. In the F48 artwork, <clears throat> black is the main color and tends to bring out significant meaning. The dark color is used to symbolize mis mysteries that tend to exist in the masterpiece. The mystery that exists in the artwork is how the animal figure holds the American flag. A combination of red and blue colors have been used in the artwork to bring out, out the American flag. Colors in this artwork have been used to create depth. In the A and B artwork, black and brown colors have been used to bring out the content in the artwork. The black work has been used to bring out sophistication. The brown color has been used to evoke emotions that relate to a specific time in history. And the light. Light is an element in art that, has, that have been used in different artworks to bring out the content and intended meaning. In the A and B artwork, dull lightning ha lighting has been used to show a specific period in time. Light in A and B artwork does not enhance the detail of the artwork. However, the contents are visible, allowing all details to be read in an easier manner. Based on this element, it is clear that the artwork is enhanced physical form. The, F, the F48 artwork is characterized by dim light and the source of light being unclear. The details are, however, clear even without a clear source of light. From the light element, human figure is brought out as a calm metaphor. So these are my two favorite artwork from the Museum of um, Contemporary Art, MOCA. Thank you.